Así que si te soy Yo yo Same se te gui Oh, Siani Bo Nine in Jan Hook. I'm not saying else in the game, but don't you forget to put the grade before the name or else it is blast for me. Uh, today's episode is sponsored by Allo District. Allo District is your your store, your online store for bags and accessories. You can check them out on Instagram at Allo District, or you can check out their owner at Soho Okay. And for DMs and prizes for prizes and purchases, you can DM them on Allo District. And they are open um, Monday to Friday at 8, 9, from 9 a.m. until 8 p.m. So do catch our Lord District out. They have the best bags and accessories. It's Valentine's on Monday. So you might want to buy this for your girlfriend uh, or your wife. So hit up our Lord District and do as everybody would want to do. Let's get down to the business. I want to start off with Kardashian, Kim Kardashian as well. As a Kanye West, the Kardashian West. Seems like their divorce is just a bumpy one. Recently, Kanye West was seen... Apostile on his Instagram, uh, pictures of him and his family, and on the pictures he captioned it as, God, please bring back our family together. That is what he said on that. And this is after he had said that Ka uh, Kim Kardashian had accused him of, um, of, 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 of putting out a hit on him, on putting out a hit on him. And now he's wanting the family to be back together. I just feel like this ones should just take their family affair out of social media i know it's hard but i feel like they should take it out on social media for the sake of the kids just take it out of social media a bit so the kids they need divorce is difficult when you are not famous as as a kid because people think that divorce is only hard on the parents but imagine as a kid and now imagine when your parents are famous now imagine the the, the, the west children having to go around and every single time your mom and dad are divorcing oh my god ha, ha. You understand so they should try and keep it out of the social media platform and ensure that they're giving uh, the sanity that they deserve. Let, the, let them keep it private. And, or maybe they talk, but even if they talk to them, it's hard for them when, when oh, mom, mom said dad has tried to kill us. You understand what I'm saying? So try by all means, man, to just keep it in between you and let your lawyers decide whatever it is that needs to be decided and pound that matter. Yeah, man. And then on other news, this is sad news for South Africans. Cooley Roberts, Cooley Roberts, our media personality and uh, a whole uh, a whole sweetheart has passed away two days ago, which is on the 9th, no? Yeah, the 9th of... Um, February, she passed away. Kuli Roberts was always known for standing for the movement, just yeah, stop killing albinism. And she was always a sweetheart. You always see her, saw her on trending SA. And she was always one of the most nicest people. On one of her clips on McG's podcast and chill, she went on to say, if I, if I would die, this is, she did, she, when McG asked her, what would you want to be remembered as? She said, I don't want to be remembered. What I would love for you guys to do for me is to take care of each other. To look up, uh, to look uh, after one another, and to ensure that a black man is always on top. And that was beautiful messages from the most beautiful uh, human being. I've always had a big crush on Kuli when I was growing up. I know, I know, I know. But yeah, man, um, Kuli Roberts is, is 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 an amazing person. Rest in peace to her and God bless her and her family. I mean, God bless her family and friends and condolences to them. And this is a hard time for them, her kids as well. But um. You know, uh, uh, that is all I can say to the family. Um, for what, what, what God giveth, God can always taketh. Uh, but we always just keep on saying thank you for the time and precious moments that you gave us with our loved ones. So to their loved ones, man, just remember the good that you had with her. Yeah. And then Mlindo, the vocalist manager, Nico. Ah, man. You can Howard on podcast and chill. And they had a lot to say about McGee. This is from Nico responding. Nico was you know, the great Belindo headed out to podcast, to podcast and chill to set the record straight about DJ Maporis' backstabbing claims. On the recent episodes of the show, Mindo's manager said he had decided to go to McG's show to clear the air and said Maporis should have called him instead of going to social media. Nico has also admitted that the, the DJ gave Mindo the step uh, the step leather that he needed to branch out in the music biz. He said the relationship went south in 2020 when DJ Maporis wanted Mindo to change to Ama Piano. He's saying then Maporis said to, if, if you guys are not going to do Ama Piano, then do your own thing. You can manage him already there. I was the manager. I don't know why he was not away. And he's saying that Maparisa has screwed him over. You can go watch uh, the 
I think it's it's episode number 324. This episode 324 number 24 of uh McG's episode of McG's podcast and chill episode number 324. You can go watch that one and you can go watch and see what Nico was saying about my producer saying that he begs uh, he begs the man he's always being sucking from them and he's also eating and scamming their money. So you can go and watch that as well and maybe it will give you some insight on what's going there on there. And uh, one of the news that made airwaves last year was the Jube Jube and Amanda Dupont and Kelly Kumaru story. Jube Jube has released a, a, a letter of apology after uh, Moja Love said they will not uh, bring him back to the show if he does not apologize, publicly apologize to Kelly Kumalo and Amanda Dupont for all the things that he has said on the podcast and chill. There is a letter like Jube Jube apologizing to Kelly Kumalo, also apologizing to Amanda Dupont on what sorry he said about her so you can go sorry about that you can go and see that and watch that as well and then you know man i am currently doing what we call insta lives on instagram where i interview your best people whoever wants to get interview hit me up on instagram if you have if you're a content creator whether a photographer whether an immortal whether an actor whether a musician let's take our talents to the world ourselves because i got a voice for it and you have the talent that you have let's uh both catch each other and run with it let's run with it and ensure that we get there and become great so i do that i did my first one already with happy meal network was a bit of a problem we'll fix it on the next one the next one i'm supposed to have i'm supposed to be able to say okay so that is the next one that is coming up from me telling us in a game and this is all that i had i will give you more again next week sunday and this is spill the tea with a great time else in a pool of game but don't you ever forget to put the great uh, before that name or else it is blasphemy i got three things to say to you i say stay real stay talking and stay awesome it's all three things it's stay real stay talking and stay awesome thank you very much for always watching this tell bet and mtv that i'm coming yeah man au revoir <laughs> I hear you.